Welcome back. This is the solution to the four circle problem. If you hadn't had a chance to look at the problem yet, then there's a link in the description below. So the key to any geometry problem like this is adding in construction lines. So it seems like to me that the easiest lines to add in would be these ones here because of rotational symmetry. So because you have rotational symmetry, then you have these lines are all equal and the angles at the center are also all equal. So they're all 90 degrees. Because of this, then these four points here form the corners of a square. And maybe we should add this square in now. So it, as it turns out, because this angle is 90 degrees, then the center of each of these circles lies on the sides of these squares. So let's add those in as well. Then if we join up these centers, because they're all halfway on the diameters of the circle, then we have that we've split this large square into four smaller squares. So this angle here is also 90 degrees and therefore this arc here is a quarter of the circumference and so these arcs here are also three quarters. So since there's four of them then we have that the total arc length is three. Okay, so this is the second part of the problem with three circles. And surprisingly, it's a little bit harder than the one with four circles, but we'll try to do the same thing as last time with rotational symmetry and adding in some construction lines. So like last time, we'll start by adding these three lines in. And because of the rotational symmetry, we have that these three angles are all equal to 120 degrees. So motivated by the fact that we want to know this arc here, which is the missing arc, we'll add in the centers of the circles and join these up. Then we have that since this is the center, these are all radii, so these three lines must be equal. And also because of the rotational symmetry, these two lines are also equal. So we have two congruent triangles. We also have that since this is the center, then these two angles are equal. And because this angle is 120, then these must both be 60 degrees. Since this is an isosceles triangle, then this is also 60 degrees. So this angle here must be 60 degrees. This means that the missing part of the arc is one sixth of the total circle circumference and that means that this visible arc length is five sixths. Since we have three circles then the total visible arc length is two and a half. Okay I hope you found that useful let us know how we did in the comment section below. You might now want to try the harder version of this problem and the link and the solution are in the description below.